Hey baby girls, how are you? Como están? I hope everyone is doing super super well today. So today we're going to be doing a recreation from Vanessa Nails. I just had to, I just had to. So let's just kind of jump into the products we're going to be using today. We're going to be using Voodoo from our Halloween collection. We're also going to be using Birthday Suit for the Frenchies. Um, and then we're also going to be using Edward Scissorhands. This one is also from the Halloween collection. It's an old acrylic, but I just had to put it into the Halloween collection. We're also going to be using Baby Boy from the Pastel collection, Red Bottoms. This Everything is available on the website. We're also going to be using number 14 Kalinsky Brush. And it'll soon be restocking because I know this one is sold out. The rest are available, but this one is sold out, you guys. We will also be using our 3XL coffin tips for this design. So, yeah, baby girls. Further on in the video, we are going to be using more products from Shop Bomb Nails. But um, I wasn't really sure which ones. So, I just waited till further on in the video and you'll be seeing that later, okay? But um right now we're gonna start with some frenchies so last year when she came up with this design um i really wanted to recreate it but i wasn't and i'm still not <laughs> to you know i'm not good at uh, at nail art or at like freehand and stuff like that literally you guys that's just probably one thing i really 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 need to work on because no you guys like i'm not really fond of it and i'm not i'm not good at it at all so okay so last year when she came up with this design i had already done you know several halloween designs which by the way if you haven't seen those honestly they were pretty iconic i loved my last year's halloween designs i was in love with all of them that i created um and again when she came up with this design i was like you know what no i'm not gonna do that when i did my 30 days of halloween you guys i kid you not i made a design with jack and sally and that did not go well you guys i literally i think i have that uh, video in private if i'm not mistaken because honestly that was that was a horrible design like that was a horrible design and um it did get a little bit of views i think it got maybe like 800 views <laughs> but um no you guys I, I was just not feeling it so when she came up with this design again i keep on saying the same thing but when she came up with this design and i saw it on her page and then she posted it here on youtube and i was crazy for it i loved it but you know what i was like la stoppens and those veces i was like you know what i really don't know if i should because of sally she's super super freaking hard to do i don't i don't know like i really don't know so i i'm like you know what i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna keep, skip on it and i love to recreate vanessa nell's designs you guys know that i've recreated so many of her designs i just love her nails i i love her her nail art uh, i love you know just her nails in general they're beautiful she's an amazing nail artist um so this year i'm like you know what let's let's go for it let's do it um if it's not today it's not gonna be never i'm just gonna keep on you know putting it under the rug and you know i'm not gonna do that i'm not um so i'm like you know what let's just recreate it and see what happens if it comes out at least somewhere somewhat good then i'll post it if it doesn't then it doesn't you know what i mean um so i think it came out a little good it's not it's not bad but it's not as good as hers hers is just beautiful you guys but either way here it is um so i began with the frenchies as i told you at the beginning um the frenchies uh i used birthday suit this is an oldie but goodie i think this one will be coming back as well um like towards christmas maybe there's gonna be a couple of things um well not really restocking uh well yeah i mean like birthday suit i think butter pecan already sold out as well so those two of course will be coming back our crystal clear acrylic will be coming back for christmas um 
our number 14 Kalinsky brush will be coming back and and you guys we're also going to be having new drill bits i i think we needed drill bits here on the store so we're going to be having drill bits we're also going to be having a number 16 Kalinsky brush primeramente dios hopefully we do um we'll be having a number 16 Kalinsky brush i think we need bigger brushes now um but i i really don't know i, I don't, i'm still working on that you guys hopefully they'll be here by christmas but i still don't know about the handle i i don't know if it's gonna be just the number 16 brush different from the 12s and 14s i might just so that you know we're able we're able to kind of distinguish between them you know what i mean and we won't get confused so that maybe sometimes you see me using it you're like oh that's the number 16 you're using the gabby's using the number 16 brush you know what i mean so that way you're able to distinguish between them so yeah it might have a different handle you guys again i'm still working on that and yeah hopefully they'll be here by christmas um so yeah anyway we're also gonna be using um baby boy from the um pastel collection i believe for um, yeah it was from this year and uh, this was so hard you guys to i was just i kept on playing back and forth between the colors because there were the blue and the black were so hard to ombre together and here honestly you guys i think i just should have left it as is like as you guys see it here but off camera i don't know why i went back and i i moved it around and oh my god you guys i messed it up but yeah you're gonna be seeing that later but yeah i went ahead and did the three the like the three color ombre just as she did in her nail design so now we're gonna be using edward scissor hands right in the middle nail and we're gonna be kind of ombreing that um you can totally literally go all the way down towards the tip of the nail using edward scissor hands but being completely honest i literally mostly covered the ombre with sally so it doesn't really matter it doesn't even show the ombre so it's really up to you um i'm just literally doing what she did in her video it's literally a recreation so i'm just trying to do everything she did in her nail design so um you guys you guys i know i mentioned to you guys that i really wanted to talk about like scary things here well you would see me doing these um halloween designs and stuff because we have officially entered spooky season and by the way thank you so much everybody who wished me happy birthday uh over there on instagram and thank you you guys really thank you thank you thank you thank you um but yeah i really wanted to do kind of like a you know tell you guys a scary story or something and none of you sent me nothing you guys <laughs> i guess nobody has you know been through the paranormal or anything like that which is totally okay um i'm gonna go through some stories on on the web and see what i can find as for today we're not gonna say or i'm sorry we're not we're not gonna go through like any scary stories because i haven't um found any but um i think Paige sent me some i need to go through the links that she sent me but yeah you guys um not today not today <laughs> um so another thing that somebody commented <laughs> it was funny because she's like is there any reason why you guys talk about random things other than nails on your videos and i was like girl like we're having a girl chat here we're having like a little chit chat here um if you know if you know me we're, we're always literally i always kind of go through what i'm doing and it's literally pretty much the same thing acrylic filing capping you know what i mean so sometimes i like to step it out and kind of like chit chat with you guys instead of like oh and then this oh and then that you know not too rep repetitive you know what i mean so yeah she asked me that i didn't even respond to that comment but it, i thought it was kind of funny it's not even like a you know i didn't take it as a hate comment or anything i just thought it was kind of funny 
um but yeah baby girls so now we're gonna be using voodoo here around the frenchies as you guys see here um in her original design um i think her or the acrylic that she was using like for around the frenchies was more like like a, i don't know you guys it was more like tiny little shards of um glitter or something like that in black but obviously i don't have that so i have to work with what i currently have and what i currently have um that most kind of resembles that is voodoo so i went ahead and used voodoo around this and this is a beautiful acrylic you guys i'm going to be using it more in more halloween designs because it's such a beautiful design oh my god not a beautiful design a beautiful glitter what am i talking about so yeah it's such a beautiful glitter you guys and now we're gonna go ahead and add these little caviar beads on the what exactly where the glitter ends you guys so what i did is i went ahead and added a little thin coat of base coat and um i just went ahead and picked them up with a little tiny brush and i went ahead and put them there on the where the glitter ended this is what the original design has again it's a recreation so we want to do um exactly what she's doing okay now if it was an inspo in view and you didn't have these it would be totally cool but we're trying to really recreate these to the t okay so we're gonna go ahead and add them both of course to the to both of the nails um and I didn't really record the thumb as you guys are noticing but um, I went ahead and did kind of like an ombre using all three colors with um, of course birthday suits ombre in that you know what I mean um, I did it off camera I didn't show it here I'm sorry but I think that's what she had in her thumb um and yeah <laughs> so of course after adhering these little caviar beads we're gonna go in and um, cure them under the lamp for about maybe like 30 seconds 40 seconds or so Just so that they don't move around while you're trying to work. You know what I mean? So um, Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a vertical ombre using all three of the colors So I began first with the black and let me just mention to you guys that the vertical ombres are so much easier to do like a triple ombre if that makes sense um if you do a vertical ombre it's like literally you're painting it on the nail and it's grabbing both of the colors and it's kind of ombreing them together it's so freaking so much easier you guys i swear that was so easy so i went ahead and did it with all three of the colors again i started with the black and then i went ahead and added the red and then after that i did the blue okay baby girl so are you guys actually prepared for tomorrow about you know the the phone thing that's gonna happen i honestly i'm gonna be honest i don't even know what's what's happening with that i don't even know what's up with that what is it about um i haven't i don't want to know to be honest <laughs> it's just too much you guys there's just too much going on around the world that i haven't even you know sat down to kind of find out about it and see what's going on what's that about you know what i mean but i've heard that the phones are gonna be going off like crazy at 1 20 central time something like that which is my time mountain time would be 12 20 i think so the only way your phone is not gonna be going off is if you turn it off um so i think i'm gonna be turning off all of my phones um because i don't want them you know acting crazy on me for like i don't know how long so yeah are you guys i don't know i really don't know what's up with that you guys how long it's gonna last what what's this about i don't even know but yeah i just wanted to kind of tell you about that <laughs> so yeah baby girls after that of course we're gonna be moving on to capping everything this design is very important for you guys to cap okay i know i'm still working on this but you're gonna be seeing me cap later um it's very important for you guys to cap everything make sure you cap 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 we have literally ombres going on we have a frenchies going on we have the little caviar beads going on we have uh, a triple ombre going on you know 
there's literally so much going on with this design that you want to make sure you just secure everything and make sure you're not gonna ruin nothing when you come and file so um and also it it saves product so you don't want to build up your nails using you know your colored acrylics so you want to build up your nail or the structure of the nail using crystal clear acrylic so um the crystal clear acrylic that i am using is from my website it is currently sold out but hopefully soon it'll be back in stock by christmas or before christmas of course when probably like when the christmas collection comes out or something you know what i mean that's what i mean <laughs> but yeah baby girls um now i'm gonna go ahead and cap everything i'm gonna leave you guys to it and i'll be back
Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to filing, and for this, we're gonna be using our 8080 nail grids files. These are available on my website. If you guys have not tried these files, you need to try them. You need them in your life, girl. You do. Like, what are you doing? You need these files in your life. They're bomb.com, they're super sturdy, they will file your nails super, super crisp you need them in your life girl you need them <laughs> so yeah you guys everything is available on the website don't forget to check that out we have our halloween collection out um i think it's about to sell out the halloween collection i might have a couple of collections left um we have a whole bunch of fall acrylics um over there on the website my, my um fall gems collection is a like the collection sold out but i have a few left over like sold individually but i literally have maybe like one or two of like two or three of the glitters if that makes sense um so Thank you so much, everybody who supported me, you guys, on um, the the release day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, you guys. Seriously, that really means the world to me. How so many people, so many girls show up and support. Like, thank you so much, you guys. I really try my best to um, bring you guys the, bre the best products. Um, I'm not just going to bring you, you know, whatever. I'm going to try and bring you the best products, you guys. Trust me when I tell you everything that I've sold here on the website is because I've tried it beforehand. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to just, you know, buy something and sell it on the store without me even trying it. You know what I mean? If I like it, I'm going to be like, you know what? This is, it, it works beautiful. I'm going to sell this. But yeah, baby girls, thank you so much, honestly. By the way, next week, yeah, next Tuesday, we are going to be um, doing the giveaway. So that's where gonna that's when we're gonna be announcing the winner to the giveaway from last week's uh, video. So yeah, I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I want to see who is gonna be taking that baby home because it's such a beautiful drill and it also comes with so many goodies in there. You're gonna love it. So yeah, you guys, um, and um yeah <laughs> that's pretty much it <laughs> but um we're gonna go ahead and now take our drill and um we're gonna start to debulk the nail seal the cuticles make sure everything is nice and sealed um that nothing is looking super you know bulky or super fat for example this nail exactly this freaking nail was looking extra bulky she was super thick you guys so i really had to take my drill and thin her out because <laughs> girl she was looking pregnant af like bad so i went ahead and debulked her and then i also went ahead and snatched her from the side walls to make sure she had a nice waist <laughs> um and yeah you guys um i went ahead I, I do this throughout all of the nails and then i go back with my 8080 nail grid file to kind of reshape everything and underneath the nail make sure that there's no like grooves or anything down there from the e-file and then um after that i take a 150 150 nail grid file to kind of um buff the surface of the nail it doesn't buff the nails you guys but it kind of removes any like harsh lines that the drill bit might have left behind so i like to do that with a 150 150 nail grid file and then of course after that we seal everything with a buffer and i am using my heart buffers from my website
Okay, so this is the nails after I've, you know, filed and buffed and shaped and everything. So we're going to be jumping in and now to the nail art, the hardest part of the nails. I was so scared, you guys. So we're pretty much we're going to be using all um, bomb nails um, gel polishes. These are it. I know it's pretty fast forward. I'm sorry. Um, but I think I used um, eight three and nine from our fall gel polish collection and then we're also going to be using black and white we're also going to be using the purple and blue from our pla uh, our pastel collection and of course we're going to be using our nail art brushes we're going to be using the 8 the 15 and the 20 mm liner brushes and also my um 3d kolinsky brush so okay you guys um the literally 
we're mostly we're gonna be using the 15 mm liner brush to create everything honestly i've noticed that when you're doing nail art or like little cartoon characters like this the 15 liner brush would be your best friend it's i think it's the the best um brush to use for nail art so we're gonna be mostly using the um 15 mm liner brush for everything and before I began with anything, I went ahead and matted out the entire nail using my matte top coat. So I went ahead and matted that one out. Um, I cured it under the lamp for 60 seconds. And that's just for a smoother, you know, transition, if that makes sense. Like, just so that the background is smooth and the liner brushes don't have a hard time kind of like dragging through the nail. You know what I mean? I... I hope I'm making sense, you guys. But um, now I'm going to be using um, just several colors. For example, here I'm using the baby blue from the pastel collection for Sally's skin. I went ahead and used a little bit of the gray color because her skin is kind of like bluish. But then it has kind of like a grayish tint to it. And then I, went, I also went ahead and used the white to kind of you know lighten that up and you know i'm just gonna be playing with colors here you guys and mixing a whole bunch of colors since um i don't have you know all of the colors that sally has the exact colors you know what i mean for example for her hair i use the no reserve one the red one that you guys saw it's not from my website but it is from nail reserve it's a red um gel polish but anyway we're gonna start here with her face of course so we're gonna just kind of be making um a little round face here or like a little circle and then we're gonna start to fill it out of course we're gonna be moving into like her chin area you're gonna be seeing that for example here i'm already think yeah i think i'm already creating her little chin you know sally has a little pointy chin of course we're gonna be doing that as well um again using my 15 mm liner brush okay i think this is by far the best um liner brush to use when you're doing cartoon characters or um just you know little nail art in general so yeah you guys i'm gonna start to fill that in using the same liner brush um i don't know you guys i wanted to use a thicker brush but then i'm like you know what i noticed that in last year's characters that i did i used um thicker brushes like like flat brushes and for some reason um the gel wouldn't fully cure you know what i mean there was always like a bubble somewhere and that's because maybe i was picking up so much of the product that the light wouldn't go through and cure it fully so you you need to make sure that the that the that your uv light or actually not even the uv light actually your nail art it's thin enough to where the light is gonna hit it and it's gonna fully cure it so i'm trying to do that here i was not trying i was trying my best not to work with like super thick coats of gel because i really wanted everything to be you know um perfect <laughs> to the t i wanted this recreation to be a good recreation and not just like a whatever recreation if that makes sense so yeah you guys now of course we're gonna be making her body i'm gonna go ahead and thin her down in a bit um using my my three my 3d brush <laughs> um but yeah you guys i'm just like kind of like winging it here and yes i am following her tutorial but then at the end i just stopped everything um i stopped her tutorial because i just wanted to see the picture and i wanted to do it my way if that makes sense because i don't know the way she was um like doing it she explained it like super good you guys she's an amazing teacher okay but um for some reason um if i'm seeing the picture the photo i'm like i kind of do like the easy parts first and then i go in with the hardest parts later you know what i mean so that's pretty much what i wanted to to do 
and this is pretty much what I did here so yeah anyway I'm gonna go in with her little body I'm gonna snatch her up with my 3d brush by the way when I'm doing nail art I don't use alcohol and I don't use acetone for my brushes you guys I use the leftover monomer that was left from the application that's what I use you guys and for some reason it helps my brushes a lot better like a lot better um when I used to use acetone, the acetone would freaking dry my freaking brushes like big time. Even my nail art brushes, parecían pelos así, like the elote. They were so weird, you guys. It would leave them so freaking weird, and I didn't like that. I really did not like that. So what I did, um, I started using alcohol. But then alcohol, I noticed that it doesn't fully remove the gel off the of the um brushes so i'm like what the hell you know what i mean so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna be using the monomer and yeah you're gonna stain your freaking monomer like crazy of course it's monomer that it's old you've already used it you're not gonna use it again so i'm literally gonna throw it in a napkin so i might as well use it for this so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna use my monomer and that's what's helped me you guys ever since i discovered that i've i have not stopped this is the only thing that i use to clean to clean my brushes um my nail art brushes um literally i use my monomer you guys that's the only thing i use the only thing i use me my alcohol for is to cleanse the nails after i finish filing the nails but other than that i don't use anything else but monomer so yeah i'm cleaning everything with monomer and I'm going to be going in with her eyes. You guys, her eyes. Her eyes were the hardest part to do. I'm not kidding, you guys. I probably removed her eyes like 30 times. 30 times. I'm not kidding, you guys. This by far has been one of the most stressful Halloween designs or cartoon characters I've done ever, you guys. Ever she is so hard to draw especially her eyes in i guess if you're like a beginner like me with nail art you're gonna have the hardest time ever because seriously she's super hard to draw so from here i was supposed to work on all of her like little face features but then i stopped and i continued with you know her hair her body and stuff her face was just getting me so stressed you guys that i had to take a moment and be like you know what just keep on going work with other areas of her body and then once you're stress free then come back and work with her face features so that's what i did you guys and here you're just gonna see me kind of you know mixing up colors and stuff for her hair for her body for her little shirt and stuff her, her, her little dress i'm sorry so yeah this is where i'm like you know what um yeah so <laughs> i'm sorry you guys by the way my phone also another thing that was stressing me out my phone was freaking dying on me it was dying literally dying i had to stop charge it like a couple of minutes come back and work charge it again come back you know back and forth between charging and recording you guys so this video itself was a little stressful but here we are thankfully I got to record some of the areas, some of the parts to it. I didn't record fully on the, you know, on her, on her, on Sally. But um, I kind of recorded, you know, some parts. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, you guys. I know I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, and my phone, when I started recording, it was literally 100%. For some reason, it was like draining my fr my freaking battery. But anyway, here we are today. We're not complaining, you guys. Everything is good. Everything is good. So, yeah, baby girls. Um, Of course, like I said, we're going to be working with her little body. So, for that, we're going to be using the um, a purple gel polish from the pastel collection. Also, with some of that deeper um, gray from the fall collection. And I think a little bit of white just so that it lightens everything up you know what i mean so yeah you guys i'm gonna leave you guys to this part because seriously there's really nothing for me to explain but um just kind of see here what i'm doing um and then we're gonna come back with a little bit of 3d Thank you. 
okay baby girl so here i was completely finished i was completely done um and this is what sally looks like so far so we're also going to be doing a little bit of 3d so i'm going to be placing a black um crystal um and then around it we're gonna be placing more of those sylvia so oh my god silver caviar beads um and of course after that we're gonna start with our 3d a little flower And to finish everything off, of course, we're going to go ahead and top coat everything. The only matte nail we're going to have is Sally. So we're going to go ahead and matte top coat her. And then the rest of the nails are going to be shiny. Both top coats are available on the website. Don't forget to check that out. And we're going to go ahead and cure it under the lamp for about 60 seconds.
okay baby girl so this is the end result personally personally i loved it i actually did i really liked this design it's not a like hers you guys at all hers is just by far awesome it's beautiful again she's an amazing nail artist so no you guys like no but um i think mine is, is it's cute it's cute she's giving <laughs> so yeah you guys um again thank you so much for being here i will be seeing you on the next one um and yeah stay safe god bless and bye bye